Hi everyone, today we're going to be looking at ratios. Ratios are a comparison of two numbers by division, and each number in a ratio is called a term. And there are three ways to write a ratio, but there's only one way to say it. So you could write it in words, 6 to 2. You could write it with a symbol, 6 colon 2. And you could write it as a fraction, 6 over 2. But when we actually verbalize the ratio and say it out loud, there's only one way to say it, and that is 6 to 2, 6 to 2, 6 to 2. Here's an example of when we might use a ratio. Here I have a recipe for party mix. As you can see, it makes six cups total. Within the party mix, we need four cups of cereal, two cups of pretzels, one cup of mixed nuts, and three tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. Now, at this point, I'm going to point out to you that it is much easier to compare items that use the same unit of measurement, for example, cups. So these are the items that we're going to be comparing today. So if we wanted to compare the amount of cereal to the amount of pretzels, we would look at the amount of cereal and pretzels in the recipe. And it could be written as 4 to 2, 4 to 2, or 4 to 2. So the ratio of cereal to pretzels is 4 to 2. If we wanted to compare the amount of nuts to the amount of party mix total, we would have to look at those numbers. So we have one cup of mixed nuts and six cups of party mix in total. So our ratio would look like this. One to six, where we've got one cup of nuts to six cups of party mix. Or we could write it with a symbol, one to six, or as a fraction, one to six. Just like when we write fractions, we can find equal ratios, ratios that are equal to each other, much like we write equivalent fractions of fractions that are equal to each other. So in order to do so, we follow the same process we would with finding an equivalent fraction. We multiply or divide each term within the ratio by the same number. So here's an example. If we were asked to write two different ratios equal to 4 to 6, here's how we could do it. We start with our ratio, 4 to 6, and then each term, 4 and 6, would need to be either multiplied or divided by the same number. So in this case, I've decided to divide each term by 2. 4 divided by 2 is 2, and 6 divided by 2 is 3. So an equal ratio for 4 to 6 would be 2 to 3. Over here, I've got my ratio again, 4 to 6. And this time, I've decided to multiply each term by the same number. So I'm going to multiply each term by 3. 4 multiplied by 3 is 12, and 6 multiplied by 3 is 18. So an equal ratio for 4 to 6 would be 12 to 18. Much like fractions, we can also write ratios in their simplest form. And we do that by following the same process as fractions. Divide each term by their greatest common factor. So imagine I had some M&Ms in front of me, and I had 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 red M&Ms, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 green M&Ms. There are 8 red M&Ms and 12 green M&Ms. So the ratio of red to green is 8 to 12, or I could write it in words, 8 to 12, or I could write it as a fraction, 8 to 12. So in order for me to simplify this ratio and find it in its simplest form, I would need to divide each term by their greatest common factor. So I would need to look at 8 and 12 and find that the greatest common factor is 4. So I would divide each term by 4. 8 divided by 4 is 2, and 12 divided by 4 is 3. So, in its simplest form, the ratio of red to green is 2 to 3. 